A bombshell story that could have a major impact on the presidential race is being ignored and suppressed by social media and the mainstream media. The New York Post Wednesday produced emails showing Joe Biden's son Hunter introduced the then Vice President Biden to a Ukrainian energy executive. An April 2015 email reads in part, Dear Hunter, thank you for inviting me to D.C. and giving me an opportunity to meet your father and spend some time together. Vice President Biden and Hunter have stated repeatedly that he had no involvement in his son's foreign business dealings and never even discussed them. I want to get to the heart of it. Did you and your father ever discuss Ukraine? No. As I said, the only time was after a news account. It wasn't a discussion in any way. There's no but to this. No, we never did. Your dad said, I hope you know what you're doing. I hope you know what you're doing. I do. And I said, I do. And that was literally the end of our discussion. Joe Biden has been blatantly lying about his involvement in his son's corrupt business dealing. (laughs) And this is a big smoking gun. The Biden campaign denies the allegation. But when New York Post editor Sohrab Amari tried to post the story on Twitter, his tweet was blocked. He called it a big tech information coup. This is digital civil war. White House Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany claims Twitter has locked her account until she deletes the New York Post Hunter Biden report. They essentially have me at gunpoint and said, unless you delete a news story reported by the New York Post, I cannot regain to my account. Facebook also suppressed the story by limiting its distribution. Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey later admitted Twitter's handling of the story was not great. Senator Josh Hawley tweeted that Dorsey's statement is a joke. He wants the CEOs of Facebook and Twitter to appear before a Senate subcommittee. Senator Ron Johnson called the media boycott of the story astounding and told Hannity this is only the tip of the iceberg of the corruption in the Biden family. What what Hunter Biden had going for him was his last name. And he traded that last name, as did other members of the Biden family, to make millions of dollars. A Senate committee is now trying to verify the contents of the computer hard drive that contained those emails and is believed to belong to Hunter Biden. We could hear something from both candidates on the subject tonight when each has dueling town halls on different networks. But the question remains whether a journalist will even ask about it. Dale Hurd, CBN News.